going on there, guys? We back with another one. And as we all expected, we got Stephen A. Smith clapping back at Alonzo Ball. Now, if you remember yesterday, Alonzo Ball released a video after Stephen A. said that he heard from sources Alonzo's having trouble standing up from a sitting position. Alonzo put out a video by a pool where he was standing up on one leg, you know, out of a sitting position to indicate that he's healthier than Stephen A. thinks. And Stephen A., clap back today and I feel like rightfully so because when you miss seasons at a time you know you could show me a video you you could do this you could do that but you obviously are not yourself that that's not even up for debate right we know you're injured and you can't be the player that you once were you can't run up and down the court and that's what Stephen A. Smith was saying let's peep it Stephen A. who are your sources bro please please tell me who your sources are Come on, man. Come on, man. You got to stop yapping. And I actually like you, man. I don't even know you like that. But I like you. I'm coming back, man. Come on. You really going to sit poolside on the bench and think because you getting up and sitting down and getting up and sitting down, that makes you healthy? Does that have anything to do with running up and down a damn court for 30, 35 minutes a night? Come on, bro. Come on now. So that's all I'm going to say. You know, I'm, like, I'm, just, I'm, just, I'm like, really? And then you got these idiotic trolls all over social media and, and, and of course you know these websites the bleacher report and others oh he really tore into Stephen a don't you have the stats don't you know how many games he's missed hey guys don't y'all see me walking all the time don't you see me running around in here when i gotta run from one room to another okay i've had a crack patella I still got a six inch screw on my knee. If I go on a basketball court and I play for 20 or 30 minutes, I got to ice my damn knee and I don't feel like playing for another month. Does that mean that I'm healthy? Really? That don't make, don't, don't let me get all up on, on in y'all. Okay. Stop the nonsense. Now, maybe you can get up and get down. Maybe somebody exaggerate. All right. You know, all right. You can stand up and sit down, bro. You ain't healthy. You've missed about 48% of your games and you're only four years into your career. Mm -hmm. And on top of it all, you would think that since you missed all the last season and 47 games the season before that, right. and you're scheduled to miss games at least until the new year, this upcoming season, that you wouldn't make a video proclaiming that you're healthy. Because instead of looking at me, and I'm not talking to Lonzo, I'm talking to the idiot trolls out there. Instead of looking at me, what if I was a Bulls fan and I said, and I looked at him in poolside, oh, so you can play. Mm, Can sure. you play? Yeah. Can you play? Since you're doing that. <laughs> Since you're because the answer would be no. <laughs> Sit your ass down until another time. And I'm wishing you luck because I like Lonzo and I like the ball family. I know a lot of people yeah. got on his dad. I, got, I like his dad and I love LaMelo and Lonzo's good people. But stop it. Yeah. Just stop it. Yeah. We definitely Let's hope he comes on. back healthy. All right. Hey. I actually got a side with Stephen A. on this one. Um, what if a Bulls fan, you know, that doesn't know any better thinking just because you're doing those one-leg squats or, or standing up on that one leg out of a chair, what if they think you could indeed play? Obviously, you're not medically cleared, and anybody with half the size of a brain would know that. But by you doing that, you could be... I don't know, man. I, it's just not a good look. We see you with the videos uh, dunking the basketball. We see you rehabbing. The rehab videos are good, but doing that to prove a point to Stephen A. Smith, get healthy and get back on the floor. You don't even have time to engage back and forth like that. Stephen A. was just making a statement, and we all kind of believe that. You know, you may not be the same anymore because you used to have, in, in speed, you were one of the fastest guards. And you're a great passer. You know, you had corrected your jump shot quite a bit. And you were able to get out and transition with DeMar DeRozan and Zach Levine. And that's ideal for you to have two ultra-athletic wings like that. Guys who can take the scoring load off aren't necessarily ball handlers or, or well, Levine can take some of the ball handling duties and DeRozan can at times. But you take that off of them and what they take off of you is having to have like a mid-range game. You got DeMar DeRozan, who is one of the top mid-range guys in the league. You got Zach Levine, can score from all over the floor. 
And so all you had to do was knock down open threes, become a better three-point shooter, and, you know, finish at the cup and stuff like that. So y'all kind of worked together because – and Vucevic is able to step out and shoot too, Patrick Williams, those guys. But uh, I say all that to say you guys kind of took each other's weaknesses away because you could do some things they couldn't do and – you know, they could do some things you definitely couldn't do. And y'all were a match made in heaven as far as a pairing. Um, you made that, you made it where like Zach Levine and DeMar DeRozan didn't step on each other's toes on offense. And that's a great ability. That's a true floor general. So we just want to see you get back, get healthy, get on the court with your guys. We don't want to see these type of videos, man, proving that you can stand up. Because what if you would have been trying to make that video you would have slipped or something like that or your knee would have gave out? See what I'm saying? So you, you don't want a setback trying to prove a point is what I'm trying to say. You know, you could have a setback and yet yeah, things could happen, uh, but you don't want one while you're trying to prove a point. People go say different things about your career. And I know it's got to be frustrating at this time in your life, you know, where you should be playing, you know, uh, Melo just signed a maximum deal, you know, and I know at this point in your career, you wish you would have been able to at least sign one at this point. But, you know, you got to get healthy, man. You got to get healthy. You got to get out there with the Bulls. I think the window for that team has closed because you've used a few more of DeMar DeRozan prime years being injured. And you got to think he, you know, he was at the top in Toronto for those years. I'm talking about the top of his career. You know, he was at the top of his career in Toronto and uh, San Antonio. Did, what, about three, four years with the Bulls now. So, you know, he he ain't going to be at the top of his game forever. You know, so I'm looking at that, and I think, you know, once those guys are gone, the team is probably going to look in a different direction for a point guard because at a certain point you can't invest in a guy and you don't know his availability or, you know, it is, it's been proven that he, he's had some issues with his health, so they're going to start looking elsewhere. That's, that's going to be the crazy thing to see, and it's going to, also be interesting to see once you come off of injuries like this and you don't prove that you are very valuable uh, going forward it's gonna be hard to get jobs with other teams too man so don't be getting online just to prove that you healthy man uh, we just want to see you get back because you were supposed to get healthy last year and there was setback after setback I ain't trying to knock you down. I'm just saying, man. But look, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Until next time, peace.